Hello guys, it's Alon over 20 here, and I'm back. And today we're gonna be taking a look at a new snapshot, snapshot 14w32a. It just came out today, which is pretty awesome. It's pretty exciting. Some new features that weren't expected at all. Like the, the, this is some stuff that we've been wanting for a while now, and it's weird that they decide to implement it now. We thought uh, that this, that they were done with new features. We thought the 1.8 update was feature complete, but we thought wrong. So yeah, let's take a look at the new features. First off, we have red sandstone. Oh yeah, so we have red sandstone, which this is its crafting recipe. You take four red sand, you craft them like that, and you get red sandstone. Uh, okay, uh, the next block we have is smooth red sandstone, which is just four red sandstone like that. It gives you four smooth ones. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And over here we have chiseled uh, red sandstone, which two uh, redstone slabs, uh, redstone, red sandstone slabs give you one chiseled. And you have stairs over here, which is just uh, the usual stair thing. I think it gives you four. So yeah, and obviously slabs, same thing. You get six slabs. So yeah, that's the red sandstone. It's pretty cool building a block. I mean, it's I really like it actually. So yeah, next item, uh, next new feature is the armor stand. I don't know the crafting recipe for it yet, but what I can tell you are the following: it you can place armor in it like that, and you can make it fall down, so it is gravity affected. And sadly, you cannot push it with a piston. Holy crap, you can. What the hell? <laughs> Why was it going through earlier? Oh, wow. This is this is revolutionary. Come on. Do that again. Yeah, so first time it doesn't push, second time it does. Let's try again. Yeah, that's weird. And you can stack them like that. That was unexpected. Okay, so it can be pushed by pistons. And water does just flow right through it. So if we go up here uh, if we do this as you can see water is flowing right through it so it can't hold up water so yeah and last but not least an awesome new uh, new feature is right here this is uh, uh, basically something that we've wanted for a while now and that is that stained glass can change the color of a beacon and as you can see it, it doesn't just change the whole beam it de changes depending on um, on uh, yeah where the block is placed and stuff like that so as you can see over here we have a normal beam then we have a red beam and then we have a orange beam and then and then we have a slightly darker orange so if we take all these guys out you could see that the, this is a yellow so yeah that's pretty awesome and with this we I have already made one creation and I'm going to show you guys that in a separate episode so a uh, separate video so yeah hope you guys have enjoyed this quick little update video of this a new snapshot please leave a like down below tell me what you think and I'll see you all next time bye bye